Hey, what's up guys? Learning with Rich here. And welcome to another edition of Autodesk Learning 101. So in this topic, so this will going to be a short video. So I'm going to talk about how to use your model line. Okay. So maybe you are wondering what's the difference between the uh, detail line and then your model line. Okay. So basically your detail line, we use the detail line if you want to create detailing. Okay, so from the word itself, detailing, detail line. So you use the detail line if you want to create details in your project. But detail lines, you can only see that in the view where you have drawn it. Okay, if you're going to check the definition of the detail line, it says here it creates view specific elements or view specific lines so meaning to say if you create it on the floor plan for example on level one floor plan you'll not be able to see that in other views like 3d view or section view or elevation view you will only see that on level one okay if you create that in your section view you will only see that on the section view so that's how the detail line works okay so it creates a view specific line now Going to our uh, model line here, it creates a line that exists in 3D space and is visible in all views of a project. So basically, if you create your model line in your level 1, you will be able to see that on your section view or elevation view or um, 3D view. Alright, so let's try to have a difference uh, differentiation so let's say I'm going to create a detail line here I'll just create a rectangle all right and then I'll go to the architecture I'm going to select the model line and then I'm going to create another rectangle all right so this one is your uh, detail lines and then this is your uh, model line so if you see if I go to the 3d view I can only see here my model line so if i go to the south elevation for example i can only see here my model line all right so you will not be able to see your detail lines in other views so you will only see that in the view where you have created it all right now so let's uh, talk about our uh, model line so in autodesk revit there is what we call the 3d model elements like, for example, your walls, your pipes, your ducts, uh, your doors, your windows, etc. And there are 2D detail and annotation. So just like what I have created, our detail line. So we have 3D elements and then we also have 2D elements. Okay. But the third type of the component is our model line. Okay. This is somewhat between these two classes. All right, so that is our uh, model line. So basically, uh, you use the model line in your model if you need to add a little more detail in your 3D model, but you do not want to add additional 3D elements or additional geometry. Okay, so what do I mean? All right, so what do I mean? So let's say, for example, I'm going to create here a wall, uh, just a rectangular wall okay just like this okay so maybe i'm going to uh, change the constraint here up to level two only i'll delete this one okay so this is my walls right so i'm going to create also the floor here architectural floor using rectangle okay and then i'll just select your finish so in 3D view, this is how it looks like. So SD for shaded view. All right. Now, so just in case you want to add details here. Okay. So let's say you want to, uh, you're going to explain something to your uh, team members, but you do not want to add uh, geometry in your 3D. Okay. You only want to add 2D details in your drawing. So what you need to do is you need to create a model line okay right so i'm going to open my level one okay 
and then I'm going to use the model line. So I'm just going to add details in my 3D view, okay? But I do not want to add uh, model geometry or 3D elements, okay? So let's say this is the one that I want, okay? So I want this, so I'm going to create a line here. Okay, so let's say I'm going to create an arc from here to here, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to mirror this to the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to create another model line, snap to here to here. Okay, and then I'm going to create a line here. Okay, so this is the detail that I want to add to my drawing. So I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to mirror that to the other side. There you go. Okay, so in the 3D view, this is how it looks like. Oh, you see? So you are able to add detail to your 3D model without actually adding a geometry. Okay? Right? So that's the use of your model line. So if you create your model line in your in your level one, you'll be able to see that also in other views. Just make sure you are on the correct uh, work plane. Okay, I know that my work plane is here because by default, whenever you create your project, your work plane is set to this surface here. So if I'm going to check that, I'm going to select the show here. See, the work plane is on that surface now let's say for example i want to add more details to my 3d model without creating any uh, 3d geometry so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the work plane so let's say i want to create a window here okay just an indication of window so i'm going to select set here so just just like what i have said before you create your model line make sure you are on the correct work plane that you want so I'm going to select set work plane and then I'm going to select pick work uh, pick a plane and then OK and then I'm going to select this surface here okay so now that I have placed the work plane here so I'm going to open my uh, west elevation okay I can open it from here West elevation and then I'm, go I'm going to proceed creating my oh so it's asking again for the work plane so I'm just going to pick here, all right, and then I'm going to create my detail, okay? Let's say I want to add an indication of a uh, window, so I'm going to select that, all right? So let's say this is the window indication that I want to be added to my project. So if I go to the 3D view again, okay, so this is how it looks like, all right? So you are able to add additional information to your 3D model without adding a 3D geometry, all right? So using your, uh, using your mm, model line, all right? So it looks like a bit mess up here. So let me just clean up this one. Oh, 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 oh. what happened here? All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's how you add your details to your 3D model using a model line. So basically, that's how you use it. Okay. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.